a uh, different uh, variety trial for different lettuces. Uh, this was going to be a demonstration for a hydroponic class that we were going to have uh, later in the summer, but because of the coronavirus issue, we had to um, we had to uh, remove them from the uh, greenhouse and into the full sun. So you can see it's uh, it's pretty dry and, and brutal for them, and they have suffered. You can see some of that tip burn here on the edges of the leaves. They're recovering from it. Um, uh, because we've increased the uh, amount of water uh, timing, irrigation time. Uh, so here we have uh, Red Salanova Rex, which is my personal favorite, the one that does best uh, in many systems, indoors and outdoors. We have Jericho, we have Rooksai, this is Bambi, which is, I like it because it's more erect. And this is green salanova. Green salanova typically does good in indoor hydroponic production uh, with artificial light. Out here, it's it's surviving. It's doing good. Anyway, what so. we're gonna do with this video is that we're gonna hopefully teach you how the system works, how uh, you as an agriculture educator can take. Um, one of these uh, demonstration hydroponic systems, and uh, and maintain it, uh, clean, uh, clean it, and um, hopefully uh, this can be beneficial for uh, for you in your uh, agricultural setting if you're an agriculture educator. Everything starts here in the reservoir. There's the uh, water solution uh, with nutrients. It's not the uh, picture-perfect uh, uh, nutrient tank, but it'll give you an idea that you have to clean this too. This gets cleaned after every use, after every uh, growth cycle. We have a pump in there. This pump will vary depending on uh, your system and how many, uh, how much pressure you're going to need. But you have basically a hose that pumps up that water and goes flows through here it has different valves that can regulate the amount of water that goes in each each of the basins um, each growth stage has a different water requirement depending on where you're growing and uh, what's your humidity uh, you're also going to need to adjust your irrigation amount and time and for that we use a timer this is not the best timer for it because uh, we're, we're using a lot of water we're irrigating every 30 minutes for 30 minutes um, just to keep them alive in this situation um, but it has it has worked uh, I was watering them three times a day for 30 minutes in the greenhouse but out here in the open, it's not going to be enough time. If you're curious, you want to see the roots and what we're dealing with here and the ability of these guys to absorb water, these, these, are, these are some of the roots. So you can see that that one's got a very nice looking root system compared to its mate. And you can see that is a reflection of uh, the amount of leaf. That's why we need lots and lots of roots to have something beautiful like that. There's the pump. So the irrigation is kicking in and uh, these guys are gonna receive some water. Hopefully we can watch, watch them get irrigated. These are some ugly looking roots. You can see that that will vary with with the amount of uh, of uh, well the, the roots gonna make a difference in the amount of leaf. And you can see that there's water flowing through the system now. And 
that's what they're going to use to cope with the environment, absorb nutrients, etc. That's why the uh, amount of water that we, we give them is so important. All right, now we're going to start our harvest. So we usually want to give them one little cutting. Um, if you're producing baby lettuce, then you can cut the leaves multiple in multiple times and let them let them grow out and have two or three cuttings. But this is a head, so we want to cut the whole thing. We want to decapitate them, and that way these can be sold, which we're not going to sell them. We're just going to give them out. For people that are looking for that niche product, um, they can have a mix uh, of different different varieties like these. You can mix them, and you can have something nice to uh, sell to your clientele. That thing, isn't that beautiful? Different shades of green, different shades of of uh, red or purple. So now we're going to. We have harvested everything and now we're going to start cleaning our NFT system. So first we want to disconnect this guy and empty the, uh, the reservoir. Um, So we have nutrients in the water still that we're going to have to dispose of. This is not the best reservoir, but that's what... The kit didn't, didn't come with one, so we have to recycle something. So this water still has nutrients in it. So what I suggest you do is that you find some crops that you want to fertilize and use and use this water for that. So we're going to afterwards we're we're gonna scrub this out. We're gonna use some uh, uh, bleach solution and then we're ready, we're gonna be ready to start over. Now that we have disposed of the water solution, the uh, fertilizer in the water or the nutritive solution, now we have to scrub our tank and then disinfect it. We have calcium deposits in here that they need to go because those are perfect spaces for bacteria and fungi uh, to uh, to live through our production cycle. So if this crop had any issues, they can bioaccumulate in the surfaces. That's why why we're gonna we're gonna use some bleach. So we're gonna hopefully get rid of most of the issues that at least the ones that we can get on um, you can see that calcium uh, deposit uh, and that's normal from uh, your calcium nitrate um, that that will accumulate um, and that that's all has to uh, to be cleaned out then the next now the channels are pretty easy to uninstall or 
clean. Here are the root balls. You can see a little difference between them. Oop, here we go. So this one was better at harvesting nutrients than this one. That's why you probably saw some difference. What we're going to do is that these root balls we're going to compost. Not the nicest root balls, but we are going to work with that. Hopefully we can get more, more mass as we master uh, the way that we use this NFT system. So we spray some uh, disinfectant in the channel so we take care of all that gunk that build up of organic matter and then that should be good Alright, so we've harvested, we have scrubbed, cleaned everything in here. Um, so I taught you how to sanitize everything, how to take care of it. But hopefully um, we can we can do that after every after harvesting our crops. Um, this is one of the most critical uh, steps into um, providing a preventive measure into dealing with diseases in our hydroponic system.